So today, I'm going to talk a little bit about the market, a few altcoins, ICOs, a little bit about a masternode I've been involved in, show you what my Discord is about, and then give you some news about the market. Here we go. Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to CryptoPix. Before I begin, let me just say thanks to all my subscribers. You guys are amazing. If you haven't subscribed yet, smash that button and all of you smash that like button. So before I begin, I want to give you a little idea of my Discord. I've been getting a lot more people coming in and it's just been awesome. So I have an admin chat and basically an MVP chat. And both of these groups get access to a gem pool where we all work together to find gem coins. I'm going to give you a little idea of what we're doing later on in the video. So stay tuned. So first, let's talk about the market cap and how it's been racing right back up to its all-time high of $650 billion. Bitcoin dominance, though, is only at 38%, meaning altcoins are absolutely beasting it. In particular, Ripple, which has now passed Ethereum for the number two spot, which is completely crazy to me. It's obvious that people are completely FOMOing over the coin price, not caring about the project, the market cap, or anything else. Most likely, it's a lot of brand new investors just excited to see uh, a low price coin, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I'm sure they know nothing about the market cap, nothing about the project, literally just chasing the money, which is not what we want here, people. With that being said, let's go to some more altcoins that have been completely beasting it. Dragon Chain, number one, was recently 70 cents. I just did a video on it. It was 80 cents, literally yesterday, and it's just jumped to $1.30. This coin has so much potential, such a great team. Such a good idea. I, I hope you guys are jumping on this or at least considering it. Go do your own research. Decide if you think it's worth it. Come into my Discord. A bunch of us are excited about this coin. We know it's going to be huge. Next, of course, we have one of my favorite coins, Zero X. And it just had a super nice jump to 80 cents. Oh, pff, 90 cents. It was 80 cents when I was looking at it a couple hours ago. It was recently 50 cents. I love this coin. You guys all know I do. The only bad thing is I am not in it. I was in at 20 cents and jumped out at such a bad time. I'm hoping it actually crashes hard so I can put a huge investment back into this coin. Granted, the upside is huge. The potential is huge. So if you do believe in it, jump in. I just don't have the extra funds right now because I'm saving up for Wanchain. Now my next coin, KuCoin, which I don't think I've talked about yet on, on any of my episodes. But this one has been beasting it. Was literally two weeks ago around 50 cents. It is $3.50 now. That is tremendous gain. A lot of you probably use this exchange for Dragon Chain. It used to only carry Nebulio before Binance got it. Bounty Zero X, U Trust. So many coins get here before they jump on the big exchanges. So the volume's increasing. This one has some huge potential. Granted, I am not jumping in. I don't know if it's the proper time to jump in yet. I just wanted to show you guys just how amazing the gains have been for this exchange. Now, I wanna talk about a sleeper coin or a possible sleeper coin, Simple Token. This one has been doing fairly well. It's around 78 million market cap, and it seems like a pretty awesome coin. Go do some research on it. It's Looks like it has some huge potential. It recently got on Binance and I got on the coin like right when it got on Binance. So I was down a little bit because it did dip, as you can see, about 24 cents, but it's now 41 cents. This one has some huge potential. I could see it easily doing times five from its current market cap. So I really only want to start with that one. That's my sleeper coin for today. Check it out, do research. Now I want to get a little bit into my Discord and let you know what I talk what I'm talking about when I say this gem pool. So for active members, which I'm calling MVPs, and then my admins, which are people that just help and are on all the time, you're getting access to something we call a gem pool, where all of us are super serious on researching and just finding those super low market cap coins that could make some huge return on investments. And we've actually been doing fairly well. 
We've jumped on Hat, BCO, Saga Coin, Desire. Check these out. It's completely not a pump and dump, so do not think of it as that at all. It's just all of us working together to find the next low market cap coin that's going to rock it. We have a little Excel sheet where we're looking at our starting price, the current price. Come into my Discord, be active, and you can participate in this opportunity. And of course, you don't have to throw any money into it, but it's there for all of us to hopefully take advantage of. Okay, so this part, master nodes, this one has been exciting me. I jumped on Saga Coin. I talked about it a couple videos ago with my friend, and we went 50 50 on a coin. It was $1.35. We paid $3,400 for Saga Coin Master Node. Check this out. It's worth $38,000. It jumped on Cryptopia recently, and the volume's actually ridiculous. $2 million volume. This coin is going crazy. This is one of those that I did post in my gem tracker at $1.30. I don't know if anybody jumped in, actually, from my, my group, except for my friend and I. But this one's just going ridiculous. I also jumped in Desire. That one's here somewhere. Desire. I jumped in at 40 cents, and it's at $1.60 right now. So that one's times four. The volume's a lot lower here. But it just shows you that we do find these gems, and Saga Coin was one of them. So now for the news section, I'm going to decide on one or two articles to do every single video, pending how long the rest of the video is. So today we're doing one, and it's China on a blockchain, maybe in 2018. So he starts off talking about how China pretty much fudded on cryptocurrency, banned the cryptocurrency exchanges in 2000, in banned the cryptocurrency exchanges in September, and pretty much fudded over all of cryptocurrency but he then follows saying china has always taken a positive attitude towards central bank digital currency and blockchain actively carrying out research and then he goes on to discuss the strategic plan that he believes china is doing and and then he finishes up with business progress um, talking about companies such as vchain a chinese state owned enterprise is now tracking and managing red wine imports from overseas and he talks about how he expects to see a bunch of other businesses to use the blockchain and the Internet of Things developed in China to tackle counterfeiting and change the whole experience for the Chinese customer. So it seems that the author is fairly positive that China will jump back into cryptocurrency and the blockchain scene altogether in 2018. So it seems that the author is fairly positive that China will jump back into the blockchain scene in 2018. So it will be interesting to see if they do jump in, what does that do to the market? I think it could explode. That's my video for today. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Come into my Discord. I'm going to try to do these videos every single day if possible. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.